Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson seven, reasoning about solving equations, part one. Problem number one from seventh grade, unit two, lesson 11. There is a proportional relationship between the volume of a sample of helium in liters and the mass of that sample in grams. If the mass of a sample is five grams, its volume is 28 liters. The point is shown on the graph below. A. What is the constant of proportionality in this relationship? 28 liters divided by 5 grams. The constant of proportionality is 5.6 liters per gram. B. In this situation, what is the meaning of the number you found in part A? The volume of 1 gram of helium is 5.6 liters. C. Add at least three more points to the graph above and label with their coordinates. In the lower left-hand corner, you can see a point labeled at coordinates 1 and 5.6. And the next point up that I made is located at 5 and 28. Then the next one up from that is located at 10 and 56. And then finally, the last point that I made is located at 20 and 112. D. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the mass of a sample of helium and its volume. Use m for mass and v for volume. v equals 5 and 6 tenths m. This means that the amount of volume is going to be equal to 5.6 times the mass. Problem number 2. Explain how parts of the balanced hanger compare to parts of the equation. The equation is 7 equals 2x plus 3. The stack of seven blue blocks on the left side of the hanger represents the seven in the equation on the left side of the equal sign. The stack of three blue blocks on the right side of the hanger represents the plus three on the right side of the equal sign of the equation. The two red circles on the right side of the balanced hanger represent two X on the right side of the equal sign of the equation. The hanger represents seven equals two X plus three. Problem number three, here is a hanger. A. Write an equation to represent the hanger. On the left side of the balanced hanger, you have five x's. That would be represented as five x in an equation. Underneath the five x's, you have a box that says two. So that is represented in the equation as plus two. On the right side of the balanced hanger, you have a bar that says 17. In the equation, that means that the left side is equal to the right side and that the right side has a value of 17. B. Draw more hangers to show each step you would take to find x. Explain your reasoning. I'll start with a hanger with 5 x's plus 2 balanced with the bar that's worth 17. I want to get the x's by itself, so I need to remove 2 from the left side, but to keep it balanced, I also need to remove 2 from the right side. 5x's minus 2 equals 5x's, and 17 minus 2 equals 15. Now the balanced hanger represents an equation that would be 5x equals 15. There's 5x's, and I can divide 15 by 5 and have 5 groups of 3, because 5 times 3 equals 15. And the hanger is still balanced. 5x divided by 5 is x, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 1x has a value of 3. That means that x equals 3. C. Write an equation to describe each hanger you drew. Describe how each equation matches its hanger. You can see three hangers here, starting with the hanger on the left. You have 5x's plus 2, and that equals 17. The equation is written above it. 5x plus 2 equals 17. Let's move to the second hanger in the middle. We have 5x's on the left, and it's balanced with 5 boxes, each with a value of 3 on the right. The equation would be 5x equals 15, because 5 times 3 is 15. And the hanger on the right is balanced with an x on the left side and a 3 on the right side, so the equation would read x equals 3. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.